to ride like Razor scooters when I was a kid. Um, this is just more, it's like a, a electric scooter. So all you just gotta do is just like download the app and like uh, scan the QR code on the, the Lime scooters and then um, it, it'll unlock and then you just ride away. Limes have benefited my experience here at school, at campus, um, in every way. It's been great, I love limes. Yeah, limes, they're, they're cheap, they're affordable, they get you places, they, uh, they also keep you from getting scurvy. I mean, right now we're not we're not allowed to like park them on campus, so I'm gonna we'll get back to parking on campus because it's inconvenient. I don't even like taking lines in the morning. You have to like park them on the outside of campus. Like they have a restricted zone around the whole campus. Yeah, so you gotta like park in a car and then walk through the campus. Wow, I've never obeyed any rule on the line. I always figured you would, do, after you pay for a line, you can do anything you want. It's your line. But uh, that does make sense, hearing there's rules. Huh. Yeah. It's a bummer. Well, since, since they have the, was it the speed limit uh, implemented into the map of uh, the, the campus, um, every time you're on campus, the speed limit, it goes down to like, I think it was like 10 miles per hour instead of uh, 15 miles per hour. Um, so I can't really drive it on the road. So I usually just like ride it on uh, the sidewalks. Mm. Right, you come up to your, your line scooter, you, you take out your handy dandy phone and you scan it with the line map. And then you can pay for, uh, pay for your ride. It won't take you anywhere. The danger is they do go fast, so you do have to know what you're doing. I mean, I fell off it once, but it wasn't like a hard fall, it's just like a scooter fall. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much just a scooter, so everybody knows how to ride a scooter. I think that the limes should go 35 miles an hour. There's, there's no helmet requirement, is there? Yeah. Right. Oh. <clears throat> when you have to make that walk that you don't want to do and you'd rather just pay a dollar fifty to get there in a couple of seconds well people don't really care like you're just riding a electric scooter as long as you have like a what was it like a bell or something to like alarm uh, pedestrians when you're riding on the sidewalk you should be totally fine um yeah, um, I don't know, they're just, just pedestrians. It's pretty much like line time to ride away. So like the cars basically like stop when they see us or like slow down. And then most of the time when, you're, when people are walking, they'll see us too, so. Being around pedestrians and cars are cool. They're more variables to like, you know, weave around and because you don't want to hit people. That'd be really bad. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, usually if it's really crowded and busy, I don't like to line because then it's kind of too hard to weave around everybody. So it, it kind of depends on a good time to line and, and not. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But every time it's kind of a good time to line, you know what I'm saying? Ready.